So what is phylogeny? Well, phylogeny is the study of evolutionary histories of a group or related organisms. And phylogeny can be used to compare and contrast the relatedness of organisms. Phylogeny shows us, by use of phylogenetic trees, that all organisms have evolved from a shared common ancestor. For example, here I have a diagram of a phylogenetic tree. And at the top of this tree, we can see that each branch represents a species. Species 1, Species 2, and Species 3. And at the base of this tree is your shared common ancestor. In this case, Ancestor 1. Then we have a branching point for Ancestor 2, and another branch point for Ancestor 3. And it is these branch points that represent a shared common ancestor, which is now extinct. So notice also that the distance between branches shows how closely related one species is to another. For example, species 1 and species 2 are more closely related than are species 1 and species 3, as we can see here is indicated by the red arrows between the species. However, species 2 and species 3 are more closely related than species 1 is to species 2 or species 1 is to species 3. So if we look at the arrows showing the distances between these branches, we can see that species 2 and species 3 are more closely related than either species 1 is to 2 or species 1 is to 3. So here we have another non-specific phylogenetic tree. And on this tree we can see indicated a common ancestor. And remember, these branch points show shared common ancestors between each of the species that are represented at the ends of each of these branches. And the time is in millions of years. The phylogenetic tree shows the relatedness between species. And from this tree we are able to establish that, for example, that species 1 was the first to diverge from the common ancestor. We can also see, for example, that species 4 is more closely related to species 5 than it is to species 3. And we can determine that species 5 and species 6 shared a common ancestor most recently. Therefore, they are the most closely related. And often in exam questions, they expect you to be able to read these phylogenetic trees. For example, if we consider the example that species 4 is more closely related to species 5 than it is to 3, if we indicate that on the phylogenetic tree and look at the distance between the branches, that isn't so obvious. So we must must also trace back to look at the, sh the last shared common ancestor too. And then we can ascertain why species 5 is more related to species 4. And it's because they have shared a common ancestor more recently. So it's pretty straightforward stuff and it directly relates to taxonomy, which we will cover in the next lesson.